So do you know that feeling you get when something isn't quite done? Like there's a little bit more still to do? You know, kind of like what I said at the start of my video on Planetary Annihilation, about how I had a bit of a sour taste left in my mouth for not talking about it when I covered Supreme Commander. Well, we're back at that feeling yet again, but this time it's with 0k. The people who had first asked for Planetary Annihilation, and it was delivered, and now the people have asked for 0k, and, well, who am I to say no? While I have put a lot of hours into Supreme Commander style of games this year, I figured I can do probably one more before taking a bit of a break from them, until I inevitably go back and review Total Annihilation sometime down the line. And it came in a pretty good time too, I was looking for a small video I could make before my next 2019 review, and 0k seemed like the perfect fit. By the way, if you do want to tease it for that next video, stick around till the end, I hear there might be something there. Anyway, while this is by no means a full review on 0k, as I've only played for a few hours, I hope it will give you a bit of insight all the same. So let's just get into it, shall we? For those who don't know, 0k is another spiritual successor style game to Total Annihilation, in the same vein as Supreme Commander and Planetary Annihilation. It had its first initial 1.0 release back in 2010, and it is still receiving updates and improvements to this day. But the twist is that it's entirely open source, so you can download and play the game for free via their website, or even Steam. It's also multi-platform and you can grab it on Windows, Linux, or Mac. It's been created by a plethora of developers over the years, and was also built on the open source Spring Game Engine. So what that basically means is that from top to bottom, this whole thing is an entirely community-driven project, and it's made by people who aren't in it for the money, but because of the passion they hold for the game. As for my experience with the project, I'd never played it until now, although I had heard of it once or twice in the past few years. It's very ambitious and pretty impressive. And over the past week, I've had a few solo games of Skirmish Against the AI on a couple of nights where I was up late, and I had a blast. Like those other games I mentioned before, 0k plays very similarly to Total Annihilation. There's the two resources of energy and metal you've come to expect, there's a big commander unit, and there's a metric F-ton of different types of robots and buildings for you to construct and utilize to defeat your enemy. There's actually so much I was pretty overwhelmed to start with, though I did get used to it all after a game or so. The upside to that is that there's a ton of unit variety, with everything from classic tractor vehicles to walker bots to massive mechanical scorpions, whatever you really need. So whatever you're after, it's probably there for you. There are unfortunately no factions either, but the massive unit diversity I mentioned kind of makes up for that. Also, the option to choose a commander class at the start of the game helps to add a bit more variety, which is a nice touch. And there's a ton of other cool gameplay features I haven't even mentioned either, like the destructible terrain and fully simulated unit and projectile physics, which lead to the game feeling quite unique despite its familiarity to the titles that it borrows from. And man, while it definitely looks fairly dated, and in my opinion nowhere near as good as the original Spring Commander which was released before it, these special effects really do impress. Explosions, missiles, gunfire, everything just really pops off the screen with excellent colours and brightness that I honestly didn't expect at all. The sound effects that go with them are also really punchy, and still on the sound, while I personally didn't find the accompanying music that impressive, it does do the job well enough. The cool thing about 0k is just how easy it is to get in and play. The system requirements are quite low as it's an older title, and it being a free download means the barrier to entry is incredibly low. And even better, the game's not even dead. Like I said earlier, it's still being updated by the devs, and there's a fairly small, but definitely active player base still in the game. And there's even regular tournaments being held if that's something you're into. While I personally most likely won't return to 0k in the future due to the nature of what I do, which gives me a very limited amount of time to play games outside of the ones I make videos for, I had a pretty good experience in my few games over the past week. The gameplay was familiar but enjoyable, and it's fairly pleasing to look at despite it nearly being a decade old. Undoubtedly the game's greatest draw however is its ease of access. Being free and easy to run means nearly anyone can download it and be in the game within minutes, and if you're looking to try something new, then you've literally got nothing to lose. And if you end up loving the game, you can either donate to the project to help fund its further development and upkeep costs via Steam, and of course on their website. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at 0k, 
I thought it would be a good game for a smaller video that can tie people over until the next retro RTS review, which should be coming in around one to two weeks time. But if you do need more Zade before then, then you can come watch me on Twitch. There's a link below in the description and I stream Monday to Friday at 2pm Pacific, 5pm Eastern. I'd love to see you over there. If you do come from this video, let me know in the chat so I can give you a shout out. Thanks again for watching everyone. See you all next time.